And that's why I'm going to take you on the journey of a lifetime. Come with me. I'm really not well. I slept badly. I slept down there. And to think there are people taking a bus. <laughs> it makes me laugh. And that's why I've come here to the Kalambakalaka region to discover the answer to that, the thing that we're looking into. My name is a very sweaty person. And a lot of Greek people were angry. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not even Greek. And I love trains. As they were most likely to find. Well, there's only two kinds of people who could possibly fit into a situation like that. One is Daniel Rubles. Frequently snow, bad weather, and heat exposure. As we, God, as we, um, fucking hell. As we, uh, quite sick, actually. I, uh, didn't sleep very well last night, and, um, I've got like, oh shit. The other is Danny Shires, quiet, unassuming, but extremely effective in a call and contact centre environment. Danny was known for making 50 plus scheduled phone calls in an hour. I used to date someone actually here. She said she had hyperhidrosis. <laughs> Jenna, if you could see me now, hyperhidrosis. Maybe I've got ultra hydrosis. <sighs> I remember going up to Calabaca. I remember going up Calabaca. I remember that, using my legs. <laughs> the ultimate bipedal expedition. God knows how we did it. The Shiremeister, as he liked to be called, would later go on to run a TV television network program service. Oh, I'm sick. I'm really not well. I slept terribly. I'm... <sighs> Calabaca gelatinous snacks that you buy in those yellow packets, often at fleet services, or perhaps at your WH Smiths. Accidentally met a guy called Randy. This wasn't, this wasn't my plan. I didn't plan to be on the road. Usually, when they would come about, they would have all sorts of different issues to contend with, as with any of the seven wise men of the ancient world. I'm really not that well at the moment. I'm quite sick. You feel the earth here, and you get a sense of the mud. The stones are small. You're just far less likely to face any incident if you read the paperwork first. Fuck you, Ringo Starr. Fuck you. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. No, Ringo. 